Hello. Hello, hello. I'm here on the beach again. This is where the swing is. Do you want to see the swing? If you missed the swing, yes, it's the sun is about to set and I'm here catching the last minutes of light to film this for you. Why? Because my landlord, my beloved landlord, decided to build another house. Where? Right in front of the house I'm staying in. And it's also going to be on a big rock and you know to build a house on a big rock on stilts you need to drill into the big hard rock can you imagine the sound of drilling into the big hard rock or uh, quite a few stilts yeah that's why i'm on the beach and that's why i've been feeling homeless for the last few days and probably will be for the last few uh, for the next few months because the house is going to take I don't know, at least six months to build, I guess. So, you know, nothing happens for no reason. Maybe it is time to travel. Maybe it is time to move house. Look at the hair. Who's Goldilocks now? <laughs> As to the lady at the market gave me a bracelet with Thai, Thai flag on it. I think this is part of the merchandise that people buy for the demo in Bangkok so many people yesterday wow do you want to see the picture in the newspaper it was it was like tons I'm so surprised my friend said it's something like 10 million but I don't really think it's quite that where's the front page oh here maybe it's some maybe it's you would see it in your newspapers as well, but look at this. How amazing is that? And very peaceful. There's the Thai flag. Here's the Thai flag. Very patriotic. And yellow is not because I'm belonging to the yellow party. Actually, I'm neutral. But because it's Monday. And on Mondays in Thailand, we wear yellow. Can you see the light going? The sun going down and down. Beautiful, look at it. Look at the sun. Oh, what a wonderful sunset. And after this, right after this, I'm going to go and dance. It's aerobics time. Just um, just want to share this time with you, want to talk to you. And I will be probably filming outside because of all the boom boom and bang bang in the house. It starts at about 8 a.m. and goes on the whole day. But, you know, it it's a good change to be outside not inside because there are beautiful beaches all over the island you know i can watch the sunrise at where i live and i can watch the sunset here on the same day and all in the sea it's just um i think it's 58 kilometers to drive around the island and you can do it all in in an hour easily and yeah it's a small place Amazing how little people need to survive. There's nothing that that really happens outside this island and island is is my country is my universe at the moment. Although there is you and there is internet and this we don't have a single viewer in Thailand probably and you're all over the world. It's amazing. I am connected to the whole world through this channel visually. I am connected to the rest of the world through these invisible channels. Goldilocks! <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a playful mood. I don't know. I've been sitting here all by myself. I've got new shoes today. New shoes, new sandal shoes with golden leather straps. Look beautiful. I'm sure you'll see them sometime soon. I'm gonna wear them. At the moment, nothing on the feet, but it's the beach. You don't want to spoil the new shoes on the beach. No, 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 no. Mm. And what else has been happening? Oh, and I've been picking out on crabs today. When you when you walk around here, there's fishermen coming from the sea and then they offload everything and there's all sorts of yummy seafood and you can get a plastic bag full of live seafood and go to the next shop and they would actually steam it for you. And it's really cheap. It's so fresh and so delicious. You don't need any sauce or anything to go with it is just fresh fresh seafood which was live just like half an hour ago mm, from this Gulf of Thailand 
yay and I had three crabs all on my own and while reading the newspaper it was like crabs crabs newspaper newspaper crabs crabs beautiful day and then this beach beach and now it's gonna be dance dance okay now being serious on a serious note if you still have a problem with calling me goddess, call me Lena, if it still clashes with your religion. I say that God is in all of us, and God says God is in all of us. Why not the goddess? If you don't like it, it's Lena, it's Lena for you. Call me Lena, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just another human being here. My soul is that of a goddess. Why? Because I feel so and I say so, and you accept that, and everybody else accepts it, because we we know who we are and nobody knows better than I do who I am nobody knows better than you do who you are you know what your soul is you know you know what's in you but you might not know yet what's inside your vault maybe you're on the way to find out maybe the vault is getting clearer and clearer with every day I hope it is if you're practicing enough but practicing what? practicing prostrations worshipping your goddess, worshipping Lena, of course, and self-work inwards and doing all the things like converting good thoughts and good ideas into good actions, helping people, loving people, unconditional love, practicing, practicing love, not practicing hate, not practicing stressful thoughts, but good thoughts and good ideas and looking after your body, loving your body, giving it vitamins, fruit and all it needs, pure food, purification pure drinks, no more drinks of very strange flavors and very strange colors and very strange smell of artificial, whatever it might be, color blue or green called Powerade or whatever else they might call Fanta. Where do you find that color in nature? It's, wow, it's so, it's so removed, it's, it's pollution in a bottle and the bottle in itself is pollution. Why would you ever pay money that you earn so hard for something which isn't nature, which wasn't produced to help us purify ourselves and um, support that kind of company? Morals, oh well. I wouldn't want companies like that to thrive. Do you still smoke, perhaps? I haven't addressed that at all because I assume that nobody smokes, or at least nobody who is on the path of self-realization it is one of the first attachments that you have to let go of no matter how hard it is it is something that you have to get rid of you have to let go no argument here no you can't reduce it over three years no you have to let it go a month or even even two weeks i think would be enough if you can find the strength in yourself and be patient because results do take time results take time and I don't expect you to see any noticeable results in say less than three months so be patient and don't push yourself too much just go steady go steady with the changes with the little improvements consistency 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 if you push yourself too much you'll get tired and you will give up because it, it will be too much it's like this big push and like oh overwhelming overwhelming I don't want this let's let's just slow down and no slow little changes little by little by little by little three months you look back at yourself you see yourself as a different person wonderful great achievement what more can you want but you have to stay with me for these three months at least to notice the changes and to make everybody else notice the changes right right Yes, your goddess. Yes, your majesty. Yes, Lena, my friend, my dear friend. I'm here. I'm here for you every day. It doesn't matter if I'm tired or if I don't feel like doing this. Actually, I always feel like doing this because it's not only is a responsibility, but it is my connection to you. And I do feel and I accept the position of the leader and the position of your goddess and your mentor, spiritual mentor, 
and I do know that you do worship me and that you do the prostrations. I appreciate every effort you do for me and for yourself in following my teachings. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. And consistency. Please. Of course. Of course. I just saw two ladies walk on the beach and collect the bro broken glass and like sharp pieces of plastic and so on. How beautiful, what a beautiful act to do. It's, you know, they're doing the exercise, walking on the beach, enjoying it, also enjoying feeling that they're contributing to this world, cleaning, cleaning the beach and saving quite a few feet from being cut and the pain, saving people from pain. Good deed to do. Think what you could do. Think. Look at ideas. Don't clutter your mind. Clutter, cluster. Don't pollute your mind with ideas of like, oh, my neighbor's got a better car or a big house, or you know, his uh, somebody's girlfriend is cheating on on somebody, and you know, I know the secrets. So I can't keep it inside me, so I've got to share it and talk and talk and talk, gossip, gossip, and other people's problems, other people's business. Why? Why keep it inside you? Why should it even come into your ears? It's like, it should go out as soon as it comes in. Don't keep it inside you. Don't make it your day. Don't make it the topic of the conversation during dinner with your family of what, who, and and where, and who bought what, and who did what. It's, it's shaking the air and it's totally useless. It's just a waste of time. Talk about ideas with your children, with your partner with yourself, with your friends, ideas. First, you might get looks, like strange looks, like, hmm, what are you on? But people love it. People love to improve. You love to improve. You listen to me, you come to me, you come back to me as well. And if it takes a little effort, a little bit of brain exercise, a little bit of self-questioning, it's even better because it makes you grow and grow and grow. And with months and months and months of constant effort, you will notice results, results that will please you like nothing else, like no new car, like no new house, like no new girlfriend, because they are the results that come from your vault, and nothing can take it away from you. No matter if, you, if you're sick, if you're poor, if you have nothing, if the vault is open, if you can access the happiness that is inside the vault, and all the other things, good things that you are included inside you you don't need anything from the in from the outside you don't want any objects they can come yeah good but if they don't good as well so let's um let's make this it for today on our journey to opening the vault to self-realization with your goddess with your friend lena and you, my true worshipper, go do the frustrations. Three more for you today. It's a prize. Yeah. Okay.